Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Jack Graham with Simply Vegas, and today I'm gonna show you the design center for KB Homes. I'm gonna go through all the options that they offer. Well, not probably all of them, but I'm gonna go and try to break down a little bit uh, pricing and uh, everything that you need to know in order for you to be prepared uh, to go into the design center appointment if you're building a new home with KB. Uh, this might be very helpful, you know, for people that are also are looking to purchase a home for a KB and they want to know a little bit the pricing and everything and do some research this video will show you everything you need to know about the design center options will give you an idea of what the house is going to cost you with that said let's get into it if you guys are interested in uh, purchasing a home out here in Las Vegas and you haven't gotten under contract already or uh, you know, you don't have a realtor, feel free to reach out to me. My information is all down below in the description. Uh, you know, I help people uh, purchase new construction homes here in Las Vegas because I'm a new home specialist out here. Uh, so here's the design center. I'm going to go a little bit of a breakdown of where everything is at. We have a little bit of models right here of some options uh, for, uh, you know, like styles, more on the warm side, more on the more modern style and the whites and grays. And then we have the bathroom area over there. Over here, we have all the sinks, the faucets uh, that they have available. Right there, we have backsplashes. And then over on this side, we have all the light options for your bathrooms and for the outside lights. Then we have over there all the flooring on that side. So usually the way it works, you'll do the first appointment with uh, KB is going to be a virtual appointment. On the virtual appointment, they're going to start breaking down everything that they have available. You can They kind of do like a video call or something. And, uh, and you choose a few options already there. Well, you pretty much choose everything that you're going to put into the house. Then the second appointment is an optional appointment where you go in in person and you choose everything you need to choose or you see everything in person just to make sure that that's what you want and usually that you know incurs about a week after your first virtual appointment um so you go in you you double check you really like all the options that they, that you chose on the first appointment you feel them you touch them and then you make it final um so with that said uh, starting off First thing that usually the design centers, uh, you know, workers right here, they go and choose. It's most likely the cabinets, okay? As far as the cabinets, here are all the options for your cabinets. We're going to go through them all. But just to give you an idea, right, you're going to have, most likely, most people are going to go something, you know, with the whites and grays. So you're going to have some kind of kitchen like this one. Or you're going to have more of the browns. So the, you know, more of a nice warm look on the house so that's why they put these kind of options right here just to show you all the appliances right here and it's all uh right here condensed all together into one um place the good thing about this one is the fact that uh now you can get you get to choose okay i think i like this style better so you can start with the kitchen because based on the kitchen then you choose also your flooring your paint you choose pretty much the style of the house it all revolves around the kitchen so we start here let's say you want to go oh by the way uh, the price that i'm going to give you guys today is based upon what is happening right now with the market like how the prices are today it could be lower it could be higher depending on where you are uh, where you're at if you're watching this video from somewhere out of state uh, you got to consider your pricing could be different but i'm going to give you kind of like a ballpark idea of what my clients are spending in this home so we're going to consider a 2,000 square feet home let's say it's a two-story um and um we're going to see what kind of options we have available now here in las vegas the included option would be a right here as far as the appliances, you have a four burner cooktop, black appliances with a little bit of a stainless steel finish right here, okay? And then you have your uh, hood on top. It does not come with a microwave. Microwave, you usually just get something that goes on top of the counter if you're gonna stay with this option, okay? Now for a $250 upgrade, you can upgrade to a Whirlpool um, microwave with the hood as well all of these have the hood that goes uh, out to the outside of the house um you know so it gets all the cook smoke and all the you know the vapors and everything coming out from cooking and it's going to send it out to the outside of the house and this will be the first upgrade it comes with the five burners right here instead of the four burners and then you have the second upgrade for the whirlpool appliances where it gives you a little bit more upgraded uh kind of like uh more 
technologically advanced microwave right here. And then on the bottom, we have our five burners as well. It's just a little bit different. It has a little bit more stainless steel you see on the sides right here compared to this one. So it looks a little bit more uh, advanced, right? A little bit nicer. And then also the grill on this one is, yeah, it's nice, the same grill. And then you can get this one uh, aftermarket for like something like 30 or 40 bucks. But with this one, it comes with it, so that's nice. Um, and then another option right here that they have available is the built-in appliances. Built-in means that you can choose your four burners like this one. So it's a 30-inch Whirlpool with the four burners. But this one is built into the counter, okay? And this one is probably going to run you, this upgrade is going to run you somewhere around three to $4,000 to have this cooked up with the built-in uh, stove right underneath. It's a smart appliance and it gives you that ability to control it from your phone, All right? Now, as far as um, the appliances, that's what you have. You have your dishwasher, you get that's the included option. It's got the plastic right here on top and then the plastic inside of the dishwasher. Uh, all the walls inside are plastic. And then this one gives you that stainless steel uh, look inside. And it also looks a little bit nicer, right? This is like a $300 upgrade or so. A uh, refrigerator is not included. Something like this is gonna cost you like 1800 or so. Uh, to do it with their uh, with their design center. I would suggest you to buy this by yourself. You can get some of these on clearance at Home Depot for like $600. Um, as far as the cabinets, you're gonna choose which kind of cabinets you want. Usually KB includes the 30 inch cabinets, which is these lowest ones, right? You can upgrade to a 36 inch or maybe some communities also offer 36 inches or you can go to the 42 inches, which is the height of this one. Also, we don't have a crown molding, which is what you see on top. It comes with the flat finish right here, which is just a small little corner, corner round that it goes on top. And you can choose like a two inch, uh, you know, corner round, uh, sorry, um, crown that goes right there or even the bigger one. That's I think three inches or four inches. Um, now these are the options for the cabinets. Usually something like this for a 2000 square feet home, you're looking at 4,000 to $4,500 of an upgrade to have the white cabinets, then also the size and everything can change. So keep that in consideration. Hold on, where's my mask? All right, now we talked about the cabinets. Um, you can also go with something more on the brown side. Again, that's just a color difference. What's included, as a matter of fact, I'm not sure where they have them. These are definitely upgraded. These are the shaker cabinets, right? So they have that finish right here. You see that finish? That's the shaker cabinets. Also, something else to consider when you upgrade to something like this, we have almost a full overlay 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 is the distance that you have between each cabinet so some places have some cabinets have more distance and less overlay which means it will give you more you see you'll have a little bit more room on the sides right here it just depends on on the cabinets that you choose okay so keep that in consideration now here it is these are the included colors that they offer so you get a regular brown like a birch color and then you have more of a maple brown. These are the two included options. Nice, you know, real wood cabinets, not much to say about it. Then you can upgrade also the stain of the color. So you can go with something like this, darker brown. And then you can go pretty much all these colors that they have available. Oh, they also have this slate color, which is kind of like a gray and brown. That's very popular. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty much what they have available. So over here we have uh, the options for the countertops that you can choose. And, um, you know, they don't have uh, too many options. But the options that they do have, these are really nice. Now on this side, we also have another side uh, for the countertops. Just to show you what's included in the base price when you purchase the home. You get the granite, the Bengal white is one of the options included. And then you also have the option to get this one, which is the graphic brown. Okay, These two are one of the two options, I think. We also have this option a little one. All the other ones are very similar. Uh, as far as pricing for a 2,000 square feet home, we're looking at uh, something 
probably around a thousand dollars or so to upgrade to these granites versus the regular standard you know builder basic uh, countertops and then uh, these ones are going to be a little bit more again it depends on which uh which number they are for example when you see now a number one that means that's the included you go to number two that's the first step up right this is number four so this is a more expensive granite right here really nice granite then number three number three this is like a level three is what it means and this one doesn't say well it's no longer available this one so that's for that one over here then in here we have other level three granites as you can mention you can stop the video and see what the name is Solarius right here it's a number four right there this is a number two I think this is the included option though as well and then granite right here So these are the other options right here and then the last one we have a number two four three so it goes up to number uh, level four pretty much is the most expensive one right um as far as pricing for these a level two is going to run you like two thousand dollars sorry one thousand one thousand five hundred of an upgrade um level two sorry level three level four those are going to be more expensive probably somewhere around four to six thousand dollars to upgrade okay um this is a level two, for example, Azul Platino. And then I'll show you the other ones. Granite Absolute Black, Mario Cohiba, Ubatuba. And then there's these other ones right here. Really nice options. And then we do have some other options over here as far as the quartz. So over there we saw the granites. Right here we have the quartz. So you can see they have the group one and group two. Group one, this is the one included in the bathrooms, is the what they call the Piedrafina. And then you can upgrade to a group two. So here's one of the big differences. There's a misconception, right? And I thought this too before. I used to confuse this one with this one. This is actually Piedrafina. This is a culture marble mixed with rocks. However, you see the percentage of rocks in there. Over here, we have a lot more rocks and bigger, you know, a little more coarse versus this one is a little bit thinner right so you get this is the piedrafina which is the included option in the bathrooms and you can upgrade to this one which is the first group up group two okay they call it number two but group two is the same thing level one through four one being included so just to show you a little bit the names first and then we'll talk about them group three for that one golden gates kodiak Fresh linens, simply white, white sun, and then we got the other beige, Calcutta Laza, Aspen Gray, Simply Gray, and Concrete Gray. So, now, this is a level two, this is actually very nice and modern. Now, level two is gonna be a little bit more expensive, obviously, than level, than level one, but it's not much of an upgrade. The thing is, you do have included one, two, and three options, depending on which color you like best uh, in the base price for the bathrooms. Now, if you wanna upgrade these in the kitchen, that will be a small upgrade, about a thousand bucks. If you wanna bring the quartz right here, the Piedrafina. If you want something more expensive, you wanna go to a level two quartz, like this one, probably looking at two grand, three grand or so, up to four or five, six, whatever it is. Maybe this is gonna be like a $6,000 upgrade um, for, let's say, for example, the Kokata Quartz is very popular in a lot of models that they have, which is nice. So yeah, that's pretty much all the options right there for the countertops. So for the sinks right here, we're looking at starting price right here, probably 280 to upgrade these. This is the included option, so you get the chrome finish, no pullout or anything. And then uh, you can upgrade to something like this. This would be probably like the least expensive one. Uh, you're looking probably like 100, 150 on this one. 250 on these first three ones right here, stainless steel, uh, chrome finish. And then you can go with something more on the blacks. And then you have this one, which is probably the most expensive one that they offer, which is around 550 uh, to upgrade to this 
kind of faucet and then right here we're looking at uh, around 500 like 450 to 500 to have the gooseneck finish right here okay these are the soap dispensers I mean included one you can upgrade to these if you want to now we have on the other side however your bathroom faucets so something to consider this is the included option right here right which is what you saw right there in that bathroom uh, displayed over there now we have all the the included options right here also is this one right here with the chrome the align and then you can upgrade to, oh sorry these, these ones are the included ones i believe or no no there it is this is it i remember this belt i saw it a few times okay so these are the included options and then obviously you can upgrade to any of these if you want to We're, really depends for each uh package right here probably looking at 300 dollars, 400 dollars or so for for the showers another 200 dollars for the sinks if you want to go to uh something like this this is like actually between these two like these black ones right now my clients said uh, this one was like 200 per sink extra this one was about 400 extra per sink so just to show you a little bit one thing to consider when you're buying a sink is how many holes does it have underneath if you plan on replacing it later this one has two holes right so that means they're gonna they're gonna drill two holes into the counter right here right so if you were to replace it and let's say you replace it with something that has one hole then you have two holes already you got to drill one in the middle what do you do with the other ones you got to get some kind of plate to cover it so keep that in mind if you plan on replacing them after you got to get something that um you know has one hole or three holes or two holes there's different kinds of sinks okay so keep that in mind because then you're going to drill a hole in the in the counter and that's going to be a problem to change it out later okay because like for example if you have one hole and you're going to go to a three hole with the separated knobs next to it that could mean that you have to do uh, you can easily add another two holes next to it and you're done but if you have a two hole and you're going to a three hole then it's going to be off center also consider the how much the spout comes out the inclination of the water and all that stuff because you know like for example the included feature this one it barely comes it barely sticks out you know once you put it here that's it right so it's kind of like very close to the edge right versus something like this it sticks out a lot more right Sorry, you gotta line it to see it. You can't really tell from the camera, but it does stick out a lot more. Anyway, that was it for the bathrooms. So, oh, by the way, included feature, as I mentioned over there, that was the included, which was the overmounted sink. You can upgrade to an undermounted sink like these ones. You got the square option, the round option right here. And then uh, this one is no longer available anyway. All right, so we went over this side. Let's go and try to finish off right here on this side. These are going to be the options for the outside lights uh, they are going to be next to the garage. This is going to be up to the community what they put in, so you don't really get to choose that one. Uh, just because it's the HOA that uh, chooses that one, or whoever it is, the builder, right? Front door entrance knobs. Uh, these are uh, also options. I mean, what's included is probably that chrome right there that you see. And then you can upgrade to something like a brush nickel or a black finished you get with kb the keyless entry right here with the with the code that you put in and then you have the different door knobs right here inside the house um i think the included one is this one right the chrome and then you can change it out to whatever you want okay right here we have the stair rails uh you're gonna choose if you are getting a two-story home you're gonna have stair rails the included feature is actually a uh pony wall but you can upgrade to for example a uh, white stair rail this would be the first upgrade probably like somewhere around fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars for this one if you want to upgrade to more something with the metal you know something more modern like this one you're probably looking at around like three thousand three thousand five hundred for those okay with the paint as well you can change the paint for these two uh, for this model right here so keep that in mind all your paints right here for your walls they have about what is that 10 colors or something like that included would be the white which is the bottom obviously there's no difference and then you have all these options right here more in the grays grays slash browns and more browns all right gotta hurry up they're gonna kick us out here all right let's see so this is the flooring 
section right here and uh right here you can go over you know obviously their flooring right now they're having shortages so for example to change your flooring from uh you know the included options which is usually the tile in the kitchen actually i'm going to show you what's included so the tile in the kitchen they just switched to these ones right here so they have some really nice colors very nice modern look it looks really good and those are the included options in the kitchen bathrooms and laundry room so all the way areas then you get these carpets right here choice of i think it's about five colors they're just mix and matched here that are included hey nice to see you guys nice to see you guys too. i'll see you later okay yes definitely Nice to see you guys. Yeah, we'll keep in touch, of course. Yes. I'll see you later. All right. So we have right here the. Those were some of my clients that they were, they just were here, so I figured I'd shoot a video right here. These are the included options. So uh, the included carpet right here. It's actually a really nice carpet. Uh, you can also upgrade to different finish right here. You have a little bit something a little bit thicker right here on this side. Then you have something a little bit more plush like this one. Uh, they have about five colors that you can mix and match, you know, depending on what you like. I think these are the five. You get some grays, some browns, some darker brown grays. And then other options also that you can upgrade from. This is more, probably the more expensive one. This is like a, for high traffic, you know, more of the flatter uh, carpet, not the ones with the, that, they're not really plush, right? These are the options. Now, um, in order the included options as i mentioned is the carpet and then the tile then you can upgrade to whatever you want if for example most people what they do is they go with something like luxury vinyl plank right downstairs so something like this for example right it's where it's like waterproof uh scratch proof and it doesn't have any grout this is the option that you want to go with so if you go with something like this all everywhere downstairs before they had some really nice options for about four to five thousand dollars to replace the downstairs like five thousand dollars or so but right now because of the shortages they only have a level two um a level two uh luxury vinyl plank which is more expensive and that's going to cost you around eight eight thousand dollars or so for each floor if you're looking at a two thousand square feet home um you know again i can go through all of these it's going to take me an hour but i can't right now because we're a little bit short on time but again uh as far as the flooring you have plenty of options you're looking at somewhere around eight thousand dollars as far as the price okay let me go through a few of them so you can see what they look like these are all luxury vinyl planks uh if you do just for example the downstairs and you keep the carpet included you're looking at around eight thousand dollars or so oh if i know great this is a very popular one nice white and gray that's the same one <clears throat> these are actually the tiles that they used to include and now they switched them out for those three that, you, that i just showed you right there okay right all right these are other tile options also you can change out the tile you can do all tile this is a very popular one right here I like the 12 by 24 model uh, 12 by 24 option as far as the size then you got so many options 12 by 24 so many options to choose from and then you'll see these all in person once you come out here usually the the tile is something you're going to choose when you come out and see this when you do the second appointment in person uh, also this tile can also be used into your shower so that's something you're going to choose here as well uh, another option is also the wood like tile so this is tile where it looks like wood they have those options as well sometimes they put these into the model homes as well as far as pricing this is going to be a little bit more expensive than the vinyl i believe just because it's a little bit more expensive to install tile and but this one also as well you're looking at probably instead of eight thousand maybe nine thousand or so if you extend the included tile everywhere you're probably looking around if it's a two thousand square feet home two stories if you just do the downstairs for example you're probably looking around three thousand five hundred to four thousand to extend this tile everywhere so keep that in mind all right so we went over the flooring a little bit what kind of options you have we did all of that i think we're getting towards the end of the of this video you would choose also your padding as well uh for your for your carpet again there's even more options right here for the carpet um to make it a little bit softer if you wanted to that's a slight upgrade oh last thing i want to show you is the i'm almost done thanks 
Last thing I want to show you is the cabinets. Usually don't suggest my clients to go with these um, this hardware just because it's you know it's gonna cost you around five hundred dollars or so to upgrade to something like this, right? But depending on the cabinets that you have, if you have the standard cabinets, nothing is included. If you upgrade to the to that first tier level of cabinets like the white shaker shaker for about four thousand five hundred, you're probably looking at getting these included. One of these three options right here with the knob, and then you can always go with. Uh, uh, something more expensive spend around five hundred dollars one thing to consider if you plan on putting your own hardware after They can also not put these on so just not put them on or whatever cabinet you want And then you can come in after and change it out with something else super easy to do very inexpensive You can get the pools here from like Amazon for about 50 bucks and you can solve them yourself It's literally just drilling two holes and connecting them All right Here is what you're gonna get into the garage right here so it doesn't come with the soft water loop. This one you definitely want to put in, which would be, um, it will be super easy to tie in this water softener system into that. Now, if you get one of these, that one comes with it in the price that I'm going to tell you, two thousand one hundred dollars. This is uh, this is um, suggested for uh, houses that have three bathrooms or more, and this one is about fourteen hundred dollars or so. Um, but that, that will uh, pretty much make your water soft. We have very hard water here in Las Vegas, which means that it has a lot of minerals in it. So it gets a very um, dirty, all the faucets and everything every time. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people here end up getting the water softener. In here, you're gonna get the salt. All right, so you put the salt in here. And then right here, this is the, the pressure uh, tank. Then obviously, washer and dryer. You can option to purchase it with them, very expensive. Like the couple right here is gonna run you like uh, 2,500, 3,000. And then the cabinets also in the, in the laundry room, you can add those as well. That's optional. Um, but they're gonna be pretty expensive. Most people don't do that. They just go with the rack that it comes with it. And then some models also option uh, to get the uh, extra cabinets on the side of the laundry room. And then last but not least right here, we have your, um, your uh, garage doors. Now these are no longer available because of the uh, supply shortages that they have, but some options right here that they used to have. And then your uh, garage door right here, you can change it for about 200 bucks, I think, to get the, the rubber belt here, which is more, you know, a little bit quieter compared to that one. And also that one has a five year warranty. This one has a 15 year warranty. So for $200, I think that's a really good value. Just to show you a little bit the difference in, in noise. That's the top one. Way quieter, right? The second one. So that's because this belt right here is actually rubber. Well, it's a very hard rubber, but it's more durable and nicely and quiet and quiet. One good thing also, you don't have to oil this, you know, this one right here because it's rubber. That one, it's a chain. So you sometimes you'll have to rub, you know, oil it with some silicone uh, lubrificants. Anyway. Here we go. We got also the blinds that you can choose with them. Uh, I mean, blinds can get expensive. If you have a lot of windows, it could cost you like $1,500, $2,000, maybe $2,500 for something like this. And then obviously you can go with the plantation shutters as well. This is what you're gonna get. Uh, you can option to get this one also on the sliding doors in the back. And I think I covered pretty much everything. Well, I think they added this as an option also. Uh, at some communities right here, including the base price. Okay, so this is another brown that I forgot to mention to you guys. But uh, let's see if I forgot anything else. No, I think we are good. So let me end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you guys have any questions about anything, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Jack Graham. I'm a realtor with Simply Vegas. I help buyers here in Las Vegas purchase their new home. So feel free to reach out to me. I'll be glad to assist you. If you need someone experienced with new construction that knows the whole process and can guide you throughout this whole thing, I'll be glad to earn your business. Feel free to check out the links down below. I have uh, other uh, design center um, tours as well for all the other builders out here in Las Vegas. Not all of them. I'm trying to get them all done. But I hope this video helped you, uh, you know, try to get prepared to purchase a home. I mean, 
to to go to the design center of your new home that you're building and uh if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel so that way you can get more content like this one and also you know uh, if you are looking for uh, you know I, I do video tours of homes every day pretty much i post a new video of uh, new communities out there in las vegas with that said guys that's it and we're not gonna bore you anymore thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video